All right, guys, so we're down here in South Florida. We're looking for snakeheads and basically peacock bass and pretty much anything that bites. Um, so we're gonna be throwing live shiners. Uh, I'm gonna look for a bigger one here. That's too small. Let's do this one right here. Hook them right above the spine in the tail section. Make sure not to get them in the spine. Just right above it in the meat. Just like that. We're gonna toss them right in. Nice and sandy. Oh. Look at those bubbles. Oh my God, look at him. That's him with the bubbles. He's huge. No, I need a live one. No, no. We're gonna spook him. Oh, Ron. Guys, big snakehead, big snakehead, right in the bushes. Big snake. Nice, nice. Right in the bush. Woo. Come on. Oh, he's gonna offset my hook in there. strategy right here and a half bro any slight movement that thing's getting off come on buddy Oh, this is awkward. My line is on the complete opposite side. Oh, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Come on, come on. Look at that tank. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Holy hell. What a monster. Look at that fish. <laughs> Look at that thing. What a tank of a fish. Guys, this is a bullseye snakehead and I've never seen one this big ever. Look at the size of that thing. Holy Jesus. I'm, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. This thing is huge. Look at that. Guys, right next to my body, look at the size of that. <laughs> oh my God. What a monster, guys. So what we're doing there is basically flicking that live shiner. I'm using the J-hook. We got leader, about three feet of leader attached um, uh, to 20 pound braid. And uh, I threw it right there, J-hook. Set the hook, he popped on it, and I saw the bubbles. I was like, where are those bubbles coming from? 
And it was this guy, he was letting out air, just drilled it at the last second. This thing is a river monster. Jeremy Wade actually did a, he did a, uh, a segment on these things that they walk on land and they're just absolute monsters. Look at this monster. What I was saying is that Jeremy Wade did a, a segment on these things. I think he kind of demonized them. I don't think they're as bad as he was saying. Uh, but basically what he was trying to say is that these things walk on land and that they were catching little children. But this little thing, this big thing, makes me think that it was possible. This thing is heavy as all hell. Uh, I think I have a scale in my car that we could weigh them. Unfortunately, I do not think we're allowed to release this after capturing it. So as beautiful of a fish this is down here in South Florida, it would technically be against the law for me to hold this fish and put it back into the water. So by me removing this fish from the ecosystem, uh, some of you might think it's really sad, but we're actually helping our, our local environment. Um, and it's actually something that's really helping the ecosystem down here. Our native largemouth bass are dying because of these guys. And they're spawning year round all the time, constantly spawning, constantly giving live birth. This taking one of these out won't do a dent. You would have to sp spend days at a time here for years in order to control this population. They've already established a population. And as you can see, these things are monsters, absolute tanks. I have not seen one this big. And <laughs> that was just amazing. That was just awesome. So scale is set to zero. We're gonna weigh this guy right now. See how much he's weighing. The scale might be fluctuating in the beginning. That's just because I'm touching the sensor. But let's get that in there. You could hear the grinding of his. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see with the sun. He's weighing about seven pounds, 63 ounces. So there you have it, seven pounds, 63 ounce snakehead. Just saw him cruising on the shoreline. He was kind of in the weeds. I saw him go out. He let, he let go a huge breath of air, just big bubbles. And I thought the, my shiner was kind of dead. And I thought it was just there uh, sinking to the bottom, but he had it in his mouth. So by the time I set the hook, boom, guns it. Uh, and there was a clip of that. He just he just gunned it right through the through the uh, through the weeds there and out to the open. And that was one of the biggest fights um, I've had in a while. Big fish. We're gonna keep on going. Have to put him in the cooler. Uh, invasives cannot be released. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in the cooler. Um, put him on ice and probably do a catch and cook on on this channel. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode today. We came out here with one thing in mind, and it was snakeheads. Thank God we got on a really, really big one, about seven pounds, 63 ounces, I believe. Uh, for the majority of the day, we were throwing shiners, got two dozen of them using a mustad hook, size one, just tossing straight into these lily pads and, and hydrilla. Before you know it, that thing smacked it and just kept on running with it. So it was a really, really good fight. That was my first snakehead, I believe. Uh, so definitely something, you know, for that to be my first fish, it's definitely something to be grateful about. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Definitely leave a like, subscribe, join us. And uh, on Man Made Customs channel, another channel that I, I help out from time to time, uh, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook, or really just the cook of what you guys saw today. Um, probably some sort of Cajun recipe. So a lot of guys like to eat this fish, mainly because it's frowned upon to let them back go. It's really controversial. Some people don't really mind uh, the snakeheads inhabiting because they're really good sport, uh, sport fighting fish. But considering that there's so many of them, I don't think it hurts to take one out. Uh, and, and eat it and put the meat to good use. So we're saving uh, an ecosystem here and at the same time we get to eat some uh, pretty delicious meat. I've never tried snakehead, I hear it's delicious. So we're probably gonna try this on this channel. So I'll leave the link in the description and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Once again guys, thank you and subscribe.